I'm going to die doing what I was born for. Yes, I believe I'm going to die half the people. Yes, I'm going to die for the people because I live for the people. George Sams portrays a fellow FBI informant in Judas and the Black Messiah, but how does that match up with his real life history as a Black Panther? What do you mean that's not how it works? Don't you give me one good reason why I don't just book it out here right now? George Sams plays a minor role in Judas and the Black Messiah, but his real life history deserves a more in depth look. I don't know. I don't know what I'd tell him other than uh, I was part of the struggle. Terrell Hill portrays the Black Panther Party member in Shaka King's biopic, centered on the life and death of Chairman Fred Hampton, Daniel Kaluuya. Anybody? While Sams is depicted as a fellow FBI informant in King's film, his true story is more complicated. Judas and the Black Messiah follows William Bill O'Neill, Lackeith Stanfield, a petty criminal who is enlisted by FBI agent Troy Mitchell, Jesse Clemens, to infiltrate the Chicago chapter of the Black Panther Party. Well, they ain't come, really. More specifically, the FBI wants O'Neill to get close to Hampton, the chapter's leader, who the agency views as a radical threat as a black activist. O'Neill successfully rises as one of Hampton's most loyal allies, becoming the chapter's head of security. Though he worries about being labeled as an informant, his intel eventually leads to a police raid that results in Hampton's death in December 1969. Y'all know how to use a tape measure? Because this needs measuring right here, all right? And then that drywall right there needs to be measured out. During the real life case, Mitchell actually had multiple FBI informants planted in the Black Panther Party. The only other spy featured in Judas and the Black Messiah is Sam's, but the film hardly dives into the man's significance. Peoria chapter. Hill's character encounters O'Neill after traveling from New Haven, where he serves as a leader in his respective chapter of the Black Panther Party. Sam's shares a story about torturing and killing a Black Panther rat named Alex Rackley, who he claims was an informant for the FBI. In the movie, Sam's is the real informant, and he killed Rackley to protect his own identity. As a wanted fugitive, Sam's involvement with the Black Panther Party allows the FBI to gather search warrants for anywhere the man goes. And for some reason, we expected justice. What Judas and the Black Messiah left out about George Sams, in reality, the truth about Sams role in the Black Panther Party, wasn't so cut and dry. Like Judas and the Black Messiah, Sams was a member of the New Haven chapter that was heavily involved in the death of Rackley, who he claimed was an FBI spy. After a brutal interrogation, Sams ordered two fellow Black Panthers to shoot Rackley before the trio dumped his body in a nearby river. George Sams, security captain for the New Haven chapter. We got a rat, man. Sams was later convicted in the kidnapping, torture, and murder of Rackley, but he testified in exchange for a lesser sentence. The man then claimed the orders involving Rackley's murder came from party leader Bobby Seale. Others testifying were unable to corroborate Sams' claims during the New Haven Black Panther trials of 1970. In the area of the nose and the mouth. Based on a deadlock jury, charges against Seale were dropped. Sams, however, was accused of being an FBI informant, matching the insinuations made in Judas and the Black Messiah. Other than his involvement in Rackley's killing, the truth regarding Sams' connection to the FBI has never been unearthed. Seeing as other Black Panther Party members feared Sams, they may not have investigated the truth out of fear for their own safety. It's unclear what happened to Sams after the 1970 trial, and his current whereabouts are unknown. If he was an informant, it's possible that the FBI urged him into joining the witness protection program like the case with O'Neill. Then again, the agency could have cut ties based on the trouble he caused.